here she is in the shop under some light fat cat it's got a lot of here's and there's that uh i was not anticipating i bought this truck some time ago and i just kind of bought it on impulse because why not fairly straight i like the two-tone that it's got going on okay why wouldn't that happen so because i closed the hood and can't get it open I'm trying to get it open by taking that out. We'll see how it goes. Yes, get out of here. All right. Oh. I think that's it. Oh yeah. There we go. Ah, shit. <laughs> and there's the carburetor. Okay. Yeah, she's a little ugly. Okay, we got the new fuel filter. Apparently it's just a screen, so that's good to know for anyone. I thought there was like paper and stuff in there, like fuel filters. Over. Damn. Okay, we're on like date 8,000 with this thing. I'll try and pull a spark plug and see what is going on with those. I'm guessing they're gonna be ugly, which is good, because then we'll just put spark plugs in. Let's see what we got. I don't know, it's a little brown. I'm gonna plug it in and, and try and do another spark plug test and see what it looks like. Okay, we got it there. Should be able to see it from here. For a quick crank over. Yeah, it's just orange. I have a brand new test plug right here. Okay, we got our new test plug in. Da -da -da. Let's watch. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that spark is weak. So, I found a coil. I hooked it back up. I'm gonna test it again. I'm gonna hope that it doesn't fire off, but I also hope that it fires off. Let's see, okay. I'm fairly certain it's gonna be that thing, just judging by it being a Ford and all the, all the Ford stuff that happens with these. I did a soldering job on this. I think it turned out pretty good. I don't know if this actually fixed it, but it was something that needed to be addressed. Those butt connectors were not gonna, were not gonna do it for me. Yeah, no way. So now we get to hook up the control module back up and see what the spark looks like. I bought new spark plugs. We're gonna start putting these things in and hopefully she fires off and runs great and we can move on to the next thing. I will probably be setting my phone down here soon because I will likely need both hands to do all of this. I think they're all pretty much gonna look like that. Just guessing. Bye-bye. Nice. What up guys, we're back and I had to do a little bit of stuff off camera because it was a bit frustrating and one of those things was getting a new serpentine belt, um, doing more wiring repair on the alternator wire and putting a new fuel pump in. So there's a new fuel pump that was pretty easy and straightforward. They're like 25 bucks at O'Reilly's. Uh, here's this belt that I had to hunt down. I put this alternator in. This alternator was actually inside the cab hanging out And then here is a little bit of wiring repair I went and scalped some more of these connectors off of another truck that I had all that's gonna go in We're gonna try and get this running again after that's good fill the coolant first just in case there's like a head gasket leak or something crazy But yeah, so um, I don't know enjoy your viewing pleasure just finished tightening that I got the bottom one the Belts nice and tight now. We got to do these Lovely little things. Okay. That's gonna go down like that. 
and then up like this. Okay, and then I need to get the thingling. Oh shit, watch out for that. We'll just take this off until we're done. So, I got it on there. Let's test it real quick. All right, no arcs, super sweet. Okay. Um, I guess we'll give it a start. I'm also gonna have this on here just to make sure that it is charging. So we're rocking at 13.2 volts. Just put a gallon of coolant in here so now it's full it makes me feel a bit better because now it's like it only lost a little bit it didn't lose at all so it was already holding coolant yeah and then i gotta figure out a linkage for the throttle because uh no throttles it's not it's not gonna work <laughs> well i found a couple throttle linkages that one's a bit of no this one would work but i want to hang on to that one and then there's this one and it's even got the little thing on it so we're going to straighten it out clean up the thread so it adjusts really nicely and does all that good stuff. I got it straight, it's looking good. Now I gotta get it to adjust. And look at how that spins. Very nice. And there it is. Bam, we have a throttle linkage now. Okay, we're getting ready to drain the oil. And ooh, look at that. Caramel. Because it's what happens when you sit for so long. I'm back again in another coat. I got that mounted. I got the oil changed. I put that back where it's supposed to be. Uh, we did this. And I think that's it. So now I'm going to start it again. Oh yeah, and then the, the linkage is on. Yeah. So I'm going to start it again. And then I'm going to tune the distributor once it warms up. Make sure that's all where it's supposed to be. And then check the transmission fluid. And hopefully everything's good there. And then I can just drive it. it would be nice. Oh yeah, it's dry. It's running pretty good. I did the timing on it, so uh, now it starts up really nicely. Here, check it out. Ready, ready, ready. Bam, look at that. Oil pressure, temp, alternator. Sounds good other than the exhaust leak. Transmission's full now. Now let's just see if she goes in the gear. And it's got reverse, back to neutral. And it's got drive. All right, let's back her out. got the two-tone truck back in here. I got new wheels and tires for it. I bought new lugs for it because it takes the fancy mag lug studs. And here is our brand new lug nuts for the mags. They're uh, one inch. 
and the way to tell is uh, the distance of this material here so when it pokes through it doesn't poke through all the way and not only that it comes with washers to take up a little bit more extra space so it'll be a little bit more recessed but yeah this is exactly what you want to do with uh, these kind of wheels is have these kind of lugs on here and they take up most of that depth all right let's get started <laughs> Get this flappy thing out the way. All right, let's put on this beauty. She gonna look so good. Just picked these two beauties up at the auction. One's a Kawasaki and the other one's a Yamaha. Pretty sweet buys. I got them for like, I got one for 125 bucks, the other one for like 300 bucks. Under 500 bucks for two bikes. Good deal.